Why, hello there. <laughs> yes, it is nice to meet you as well. My name? <sighs> you know, I've actually forgotten my real name, but you can call me Caleb. But that doesn't mean we have to stop the interview, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I frighten you? So tell me, what sorry ass excuse for a journalism class wanted you to interview someone like me? Ah, <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> Well, let's cut the shit. Feed me your questions. Oh, I mean, uh, ask me your questions. <laughs> How did I become a vampire? Well, pretty much like your, uh, typical Hollywood style. <laughs> At least you got that right. <sighs> well, I was about 22 years old. I was homeless. I remember being on the streets cold, hungry, and I was about to give up hope when the most beautiful woman you've ever seen pops out of nowhere. Well, she didn't really pop out of nowhere. She was actually tearing into some guy's throat. And then she saw me. I ran for my life, but I didn't know this at the time, but Vampires can run really, really fast. I barely turned around for a second when, poof, there she was. I remember she had the silkiest, smoothest voice you have ever heard. What's your name? Oh yeah, you're Angelina Jolie. Yeah, better than that. And... She grabbed me, but before she went for my neck, she looked deep into my eyes and she told me, I noticed something special about you. And with that, she bit into my neck as hard as she could. However, I felt pleasure beyond anything I could have ever felt at the time. I actually remember waking up on her bed she was watching me sleep. I awoke and there she was, still as beautiful as ever. So, well, I don't want to get too graphic, but she uh, pins me down and she cuts her throat and bleeds. She bleeds into my mouth and once the blood hit, I began to drink and I drank and I drank. And once that was done, I died. Well, for the first time. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, here I am now. Next question. How long have I been a vampire? Well, older than you, your parents, your grandparents and their grandparents, and so on and so forth combined. Now, I may not have been around in the 16th or 17th century, but I could still kick your ass in a history lesson. Let's just say, I wouldn't need a history book. I guess that's why I did so well in school. And yes, I did go to school. Next. Why do I have four fangs instead of just two? Oh, <laughs> that's a funny story. So typically after your creator turns you, you get the typical two. However, I think my creator fucked up. Originally, my creator was supposed to just feed me her blood. However, I got a little thirsty afterwards, so she takes me to her cellar. She has fridges filled to the brim with human blood. Now maybe she did this on purpose or accident, but she left some vampire blood out. Now, 
I know some stories will tell you that vampire blood is poisonous to us, or it's harmful to us, or it doesn't taste so good. Well, they were right about one thing. It did not taste very good at all. However, it sure as hell wasn't poisonous. Once I drank it, I felt power surge through my veins. My teeth grew harder. They grew stronger. And so, I grew an extra fang. And <laughs> that's how we got to here. What's next? How does it feel to turn? Well, when your creator, well, mine, bit me, how do I put this? Imagine the best sex you've ever had. Or, well, <laughs> coming from you, let's just say, imagine when you have it, the ecstasy and euphoria that fills your body and flows through your veins. That's how it feels. However, when you turn, imagine every bone in your stupid little body breaking at the same time. Imagine the worst chest pain you've ever felt, the worst stomach aches you've ever felt, and imagine that happening for hours. I got lucky, but some aren't. Your next question. Where is my creator now? <laughs> That's a funny question you should ask. <laughs> well, I don't have one anymore. She tried to stop me from becoming more powerful, so I had to make an example out of her. She didn't take into consideration that I drank vampire blood, and whose ever blood it was, <laughs> it did things to me, and I grew more powerful than she did. So, let's just say one of her fence posts went missing, and I got lodged somewhere in her body. I'm sure you can guess where that is. I also need a new axe. <laughs> you would be surprised how strong a vampire's neck or their spine really is. <laughs> so I am my own master now. <laughs> any more questions? Do I have any servants? Hmm. Wow. I wouldn't really call them servants. They just bring me flesh and blood, but I don't think they're considered my servants. They can leave whenever they want. But to answer your question, I guess you could say five maybe. I always lose count. And no, I didn't bite them. Just good old hypnosis. <laughs> oh, and I didn't tell you this yet, but I kind of threatened them by saying I would kill their families if they ever left without telling me. <laughs> you know, silly stuff just like that. Stereotypes. <laughs> well, we do die from the stake through the heart, but I'm pretty sure if I rammed a stake through your heart, you would die too. Garlic. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I can eat garlic. It doesn't hurt me. However, it does make my breath smell bad. But like I said in my last example, if you ate garlic, your breath would smell too, right? <laughs> Silver bullets. Huh. <laughs> I think you're thinking of my neighbor the werewolf. I think he wants an interview too. Sunlight. Ooh, ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Most vampires can't go into the sunlight. However, when you're as powerful as me, you can go anywhere. You could be anywhere and nobody would suspect a thing. For all you know, the mailman is a vampire. For all you know, your professors and teachers are vampires. Or a vampire could be the person sitting across from you at Starbucks while you order your venti chai latte with the side of a blueberry muffin. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you are and I know who you are. 
but telling you I already knew you would have spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Crucifixes and holy water. Hmm. It's all bullshit. A lot of people wear the religion on their sleeves. You have to believe in it for it to work. But most people fake it. So, uh, I would really consider you putting your dollar store crucifix away. Ah, uh, that same old question I never get tired of hearing. How does blood taste to a vampire? Oh my. Hmm. Think of the best steak you've ever had. The best margarita. The best piece of chocolate or whatever your favorite food is. And just imagine that tasty goodness. That's how blood tastes like. <laughs> Wait, what? How often do I feed? <laughs> Not enough. <sighs> what's gonna happen you're gonna go back to your home and you're gonna forget this ever happened the pain in your neck will go away however you're gonna wake up and feel power like you've never felt before and not know where it came from it won't last but it'll be a good pick-me-up now go home I look forward to our next encounter, young journalist, and tasting that warm, sweet nectar that courses through your body. <laughs> now get the fuck out of my apartment. Good evening, everyone. My name is Happy Feet Audios, and I will be a part of this collaboration. I'm not the original voice actor for this collab. Fantastic ASMR could not get a hold of the original person, so if you hear a different voice in part two of this specific collab, Memories of a Vampirist, you know why. If you enjoyed my performance, there will be a link to my channel down below where I do girlfriend role plays as well as comfort audios. I hope to see you there. Why, hello there, stranger. My name is Desi, and I'm new to the area, and don't really have any friends at the moment. Can you tell me what's fun to do around here? Oh, really? The clubs suck here? Is it the music, or... Ew, gross. Yeah, well... I guess I've spent eighty dollars on an outfit I won't be wearing anymore. What about any carnivals or festivals? Damn, I have to wait that long? Shit. What do you people do for fun around here? Drinking, eating, walking? 
This makes my emotional breakdown, yelling into my, my parents, and moving to a town I never heard of be the best decision I've ever made. Yes, you are correct. I am being sarcastic. And so far, it's way more fun than anything you just suggested. <sighs> Ooh, what about those? Those tattoos on your arm. That looks like fun. Where can I get me some of those? You do them yourself? <laughs> yes, I guess that's one way to make your small town life seem less boring. Wait, what? You want me to come over so you can give me a free tattoo? Is that your go-to line for strange women you just met? Aren't you at least going to buy me a drink first, or something to eat? Hmm, that's the point of coming over, huh? Hmm, fine, only because you don't seem threatening, and I think I could kick your ass if you try anything funny. <laughs> One drink? Okay, fine. And then we'll see if you're trustworthy enough to give me one of your tattoos. What? You don't have a car? <sighs> Fine. Well, I guess small town folk like you wouldn't need one in a place like this. Okay, come with me. I parked over there. Just point me in the right direction. Well, here we are, my little humble abode. Sorry about it being so dark. In a small town like this, utilities are, believe it or not, a major pain in the ass. Take a seat and let me pour you a drink. Sorry I am not rich like all the boys back home. I mostly prefer Fresh drinks. <laughs> well, my name. <laughs> you can just call me Caleb. I didn't choose it. The town did. And I've just been gone with it these past 500, uh, I mean 20 years. This town can get very boring, so when we get a tasty or er, pretty people such as yourself, it's like getting a celebrity. So, you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, mutual partner? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Breakups can be painful, and so can being alone. There are some days where I wish I could have someone to come home to and or be there and be excited to see me. <sighs> Have you been hypnotized before? I know that every guy with a curly mustache thinks he can hypnotize people with that stupid medallion trick back in the big old city. You haven't. Well, allow me. Look into my eyes and do not break focus. You are relaxed, calm, Almost as if your limbs have gone completely numb. You feel a strange force pulling your neck to one side. Now you feel... <laughs> this.
drink this. If you do not drink, you will die. Wait, how did I end up in your bed? We didn't. You didn't. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Mm. Oh, my neck feels funny. And my teeth are sore. I, and I don't need glasses anymore. I can smell much better, and I can hear way better. Is there something in the alcohol in here? No? So why am I... Wait. Why is my neck bleeding? A and why is there blood on your lips? You're a... a, a Shh, 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 shh. I am yours, my master. My king. My blood is all yours. I live to serve thee. Good. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Night Blossom ASMR, but you may call me Mama Bear, and I will be part of this collaboration. If you enjoyed my performance, my channel will be linked down below for more audio roleplays. I hope to see you there. Oh, Booker decided to finally wake up. Sorry about the window, but desperate times, you know. <laughs> hmm, that was a little too easy. You took care of the others so quickly. Uh, and here I thought I was going to get a challenge. Hmm, you know... You're not so terrifying once you're all tied up. Well, I think it's time I make you feel the pain that you made them feel. You know what this can do? This took down that werewolf neighbor of yours. Did it ever occur to you why you stopped smelling wet dog? Mm, you should have heard him scream and howl. His buddies came, of course, but I easily disposed of them. Now, before I kill you, I think a little story wouldn't hurt. Do you remember a man named Jacob Ferriol? He was my old man's mentor. He taught him how to hunt the undead scum like yourself. My dad then taught me everything he knew, and I've been hunting down the undead with him. You... killed Jacob... and my father. And I have spent my days trying to track you down. Do you even know how I found my father and Jacob? They were lying on the floor, writhing in pain. I had to watch them die because I knew I couldn't save them. Their throats were ripped to shreds. Their limbs were broken. After they finally passed, I set the house on fire but not before taking all of their hunting gear with me. 
And like I said, I've been killing hundreds of your kind, hoping the next one would actually be Jacob's and my father's killer. And although it may have taken me 20 long years, I have found you at last. And now, I want you to suffer. <laughs> this one is for my dad. This one is for Jacob. And this is for me. What the hell? Where are you? Right here. <laughs> this feels awfully familiar. You know, I usually enjoy being cut. It's quite the turn on. I don't think I've ever had these feelings towards a hunter, though. I really got to work on my fake passing out and being helpless act. Did you really think that your sleeping gas would work on the king? <laughs> your old man must have forgot to teach you that. Maybe it's a good thing I tore his throat out. You should have heard him and Jacob cry in pain <laughs> until they were gurgling their own blood. Oh, and that object you have? Yeah, it's junk. You should have done your research, young one. You should know that this only works on half vampires. You were much better off fighting me with your bare hands than using that shit gas your human military uses. Normally, I kill my hunters, but you seem different. I think you will serve a good purpose. You are going to work for me, and I will make you live forever, whether you like it or not. You're going to kill whoever I order you to kill. But don't worry, your family has been through enough, so I won't make you kill them, unless you piss me off. You're gonna kill any vampire I tell you to. Any vampire that dare try to fuck with me and my empire and my followers. And you'll have no choice but to do so. Oh no no. <laughs> oh no no. It's no use trying to fight it. Should I give a countdown? Or should I just... <sighs> to drink this or you'll die just like your old man and his mentor it's my blood but still trust me you need to drink this unless you want to die good good <sighs> did you do to me? You... You son. 
son of a bitch. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. You turned me into a bloodsucker. <clears throat> well, it doesn't matter. No. Fuck you. No. I'm not going to. No. Get out. Get out. What is it that you desire, my king? I live to serve you. That's more like it. Now, here is a list of people I need gone. Now go, and don't come back until they're all dead. <laughs>